Hello everyone, this is Fran. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making giant oatmeal raisin walnut cookies. Let's get started. Okay, so the other day I did a pantry clean out and I found this great big awesome bag of oats. And I'm gonna make some giant oatmeal raisin walnut cookies. Oh my goodness, that's a mouthful. Oh, they haven't quite expired yet. So it still got March 2023 and today is the last day of March. So we're gonna use them up. They look really good. We need one, one large egg. Okay, we need three cups of oatmeal. We're gonna go ahead and put them right in this bowl. Okay, we need one and a half cups of all-purpose unbleached flour. We need three fourths cup. We need three fourths cup of packed brown sugar. I need to restock my brown sugar. There is one half cup. And then I'm gonna use, just gonna make this one half cup. So that makes three fourths. So there's three fourths cup of packed brown sugar. I need to restock. Now we need one half cup of granulated sugar. And we need one and one we need one and one fourth cups of unsalted butter. And this is cold, it come out of the refrigerator. So I am going to put it in the microwave for just a about 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna put it in a container. I'm gonna put it in a glass measuring cup. If I can keep it up on the table. Okay, so there is one and one fourth cups of butter. Okay, these are my chopped walnuts. I chopped them up the last time I used them. So we are gonna need one cup of walnuts chopped. So there's one cup. Save me some time today. Okay, these are soft now. They you can press them with your finger and leave it indent, but they're not melted. So that goes right in. Now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. If you get a little bit more in there, that's okay. Three fourths teaspoon of salt. One and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is my favorite, and I have a little fourth in there. I keep a little wooden fourth um, teaspoon in my cinnamon because I love it in my coffee, my creamer. I, I just love cinnamon on everything. Now we're gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda. One fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Now I think we're ready to mix this up. I'll be honest, I really should use my, I really be, should be using my big mixer. I'm gonna get it out. Oh, I forgot to put in my egg. The raisins and the nuts we're gonna put in last, but we need to put in our egg in. And I probably should have put that in first. Okay, so I have out my paddle attachment. That's what we're gonna use today. Okay, we're just gonna, gonna lift it. I probably should have had this out, but I didn't think about it. I have it sitting in the corner. My husband brought this for me as a gift, and I very rarely use it, but I love it. So here we go. Let's get 
this started. Remember to start out low and stay low. <laughs> oh, it'll fly everywhere. I caught it though. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're gonna add our nuts and our raisins. So remember we needed one cup of um, dark raisins. Or if you have light, it doesn't matter. And then one cup of walnuts chopped up. Start it out on low. <laughs> Guys, these cookies smell so good. People sometimes will ask me, why do you make giant ones? Because when I was little, I just always saw people with these great big cookies. And now I can have one. This is an awesome cookie dough. It really just incorporates. I'm going to go ahead and get out my cookie sheets, and we're going to get these cookies made up and get them into a 350-degree oven. I'm just going to, these are small cookie sheets. I'm just going to use the small ones. I'm going to take just a little bit of butter, and I'm going to just kind of butter my pan a little bit. Not much. So I have my one-fourth measuring cup. I'm going to measure it out for one-fourth and put it and probably get six, probably get six on the sheet pan. First sheet band of giant cookies. We have our second little, and you can freeze this stuff. Do not have to cook it. Put it in the refrigerator for about a week if you want to. Or you can freeze the cookies. Sheet pan number two. These also make great gifts. You know what, maybe I'll take a sheet pan full um, to somebody in town. I think I will, it's Friday. I think I might surprise somebody with some cookies today. I have 18 cookies. I only have three small sheet pans, but I've got a little bit, probably enough for two more. So this makes 20 giant cookies using a one-fourth scoop. So we are putting our oatmeal raisin cookies, oatmeal raisin walnut cookies in the oven. I put them on the middle rack, and I'm only going to put two trays in for right now. What I'm going to do is I am going to save the other six. I'm gonna surprise someone. I'm gonna cook them last, and I'm gonna surprise someone with some some raisin, let's see, oatmeal raisin walnut cookies. The giant oatmeal cookies. Oh my goodness, they are really hot. They just come out of the oven. Oh my goodness, they were in there for 15 minutes. So now we are going to try one of our giant oatmeal raisin cookies. Guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm. I'm hoping you will subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment below, go make these oatmeal cookies. Have a great day and God bless. Go make these cookies.